It's time for the other side of the Madness series. I'm Autumn Johnson for NCAA Digital, and I'm joined by Stanford's Cameron Brink to get to know her beyond the game as we get closer to March Madness. All right, Cameron, I want to start off with some pictures. First, the one that's most commonly known. Who's this person on the court? Yeah, on the court, I definitely say I'm super fiery, passionate, energetic. I love to be that source of energy for my teammates. So yeah, I'd say I'm just kind of all over the place, yelling all the time. But yeah, I just I just like to have a good time out there. All right, now the other side. Who's this person in real life in this photo? What's her style, her personality, you name it? Um, pretty similar, I would say, to me on the court, but definitely embracing my feminine energy a little bit more. I love to dress up. I love to put on makeup. I love to put on a cute outfit, go out. But yeah, I would say um, I just I love to go out with friends and, you know, get cute. So, yeah, I love it. We all do for sure. <laughs> Colliding the two worlds together. Describe who you are as a whole in seven words. OK, I actually kind of wrote them down because seven words is a lot to remember at once. Um, so I'd say I'm passionate, determined, joyful, fearless, loyal, outgoing, and creative. I love it. Why all of those words? Um, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, one word to encompass all of that is kind of passionate. I feel like I'm just really passionate about what I do, school, basketball, the people I surround myself with. I just, you know, I want to do everything I can to the best of my ability. And yeah. What do you enjoy doing outside of basketball? I love, um, well, I mean, I go to Stanford. I obviously prioritize academics. I love going to class. We recently have been able to go back in person rather than being remote, which has been really nice. Um, I love to read. I love to shop. I love to spend time with my family. I'm a big animal lover. I love my dog, Jovi, very much. So yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> when and why did you start playing basketball? Yeah, I actually started off like not loving basketball. My, my family is basketball family. My parents both played at Virginia Tech. Um, so I've kind of been surrounded by the sport my entire life. And I was kind of like, I don't want to be surrounded by it. Like, it's too much. I don't want to do that. But then Around the sixth grade, I just kind of got surrounded by great coaches and great teammates, and it kind of was history from there. You know, I just fell in love with it. And it resulted in a championship. We love it. <laughs> yeah. When did you realize that you were good at the game? I think I kind of realized my freshman year of high school, but still, like, I was like, it was just kind of fun for me. It was just like a good way to let out energy and have fun with friends. Um, but when I started to get offers from schools, I was like, okay, maybe this is something I can pursue. So, yeah. And that hard work has led you to the D1 level uh, for an opportunity to compete in March Madness. For you, define what March Madness means. I honestly think it's just, you know, all of your teams, your teammates, hard work, your coaches, like it's the stage for you to display to everybody like what you can do. And I think it's just fun, you know? I think you, you leave everything out on the court and if the outcome's desirable, like why not keep going? This is always a special time of the year. What gift do you wanna give fans in March? I think, you know, I wanna keep showing fans that women's basketball is a, a great sport and it has so many talented athletes in it. And I, I just wanna give them some inter interesting games to watch. So, yeah. Who are your heroes in March? I have so many, but I would have to say Brianna Stewart's one of my favorites, just because I really want to model my game after her game. And I think she's just like an amazing role model all around. So I would say Brianna Stewart. She's incredible. And I know a lot of little girls look up to you and everyone in women's basketball. They literally crowd the sidelines of your games and view <laughs> you all as heroes. What do you wish you could tell them about chasing their dreams? I think, you know, you can say so much about chasing your dreams and like being determined and working hard, but I think what's been most important for me is having fun while working hard because, you know, it can be a grind, like going to the gym every day and lifting every day and making sure you're eating right. Like it really is a grind, but making sure you find the joy in it and surrounding yourself with the right people, I think that's most important. I love it. Well, that was the other side of the madness. Thank you so much, Cameron. I enjoy you and also your time. Thank you. <laughs>